So we were gonna, I was gonna wait until we were inside, but we may be picking up some chicks today. We're gonna look and see what they have available, but we do need some new chicks now that we're coming into the spring and we can keep the their chicken coop warm and we can keep water out there without it freezing. So our last chickens that we had, we took them to my parents' house and they are actually permanently there now. So we're gonna pick up some new ones so that we can have some fresh eggs built right here on the Roddy Farm. So let's go ahead and go shopping. Have everything we need for the chicks. We got the heat lamps, we got the heat lamp holder, we got uh, watering, waterers, we got uh, feeders. So let's go ahead and get these guys home. They're probably cold out here. It's supposed to be spring, but it snowed like yesterday and today, and it's really windy. So, so let's go ahead and head home and show you guys what kind of chicks we got. Welcome to the Roddy Ranch. Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed shopping with us over at IFA. Now I just wanna kinda of show you what we got um, our total check was about 350 bucks and that's with the fencing and the chicken so I think the chicken stuff um, like all the starter the feed and everything was under a hundred dollars and uh, really I mean that's a great deal for what they produce they're producing eggs all year long they definitely make up uh, what you spend on them so what we got is we're gonna keep them separate so we did get a few of them we're gonna put them in a, a big bins and we're gonna put these on top. These are gonna be heat lamps. So we're gonna have them separate so that they have more room. We also did get indoor and outdoor heat lamps. So after being in the house for a little while, we're gonna move them out to the garage when it gets a little warmer. As you saw, it was sunny, windy, rainy, and snowy on the way home. So we're still in spring here in Utah. And so really we are, uh, we're just trying to deal with the cold. So one day it'll be warm, one day it'll be cold. So we are gonna keep them in the house for the first four to six weeks. Six weeks, we'll bring them out here into the garage, leave them in here for about two to four weeks, and then we'll move them out to the chicken coop. So what we got here is our lighting to keep them warm. And then we have waterers here, one for each bin. And then we also have our little poultry feeders. So you fill this up, you put the cap on, and then as they eat, the food comes down. So really you only need to check on these guys, it's food and water once a day. Um, and they are really actually pretty young. I think they're like a week or a, less than a week old. So we are actually even having to keep them clean because they're pooping a lot. And if it gets stuck, then they can't push it out and they get constipated. So we are gonna have to watch for that. Um, well, it's because we got silkies and the silkies are more fuzzy. So we did get some silkies as requested. We got <laughs> some silkies and there is going to be more fluff on the silkies. And so they, they kind of get stuck in their feathers they get constipated. So over here, we have the stuff for the electric fence. I'm not gonna be installing this today as it was snowing. Um, I'm probably gonna be installing it like tomorrow or the next day. So I'll, I'll definitely update you guys in the future on videos. So if you don't wanna miss out on that video, go ahead and hit that bell notification. And if you're not already, consider subscribing because the Roddy Ranch is in full swing. So we just picked up our chicks. We've got another family member on the way and then we've got our three Rottweilers. So we got a power box here. We got a ground connector to these rods here that will go in the ground and ground the fence out so that when the dogs actually walk up to where the electric fence is, when their paws connect with the soil, it's grounded out and it will actually keep them away from the edge of the fence. We have these to connect the actual rope here. This is poly wire. It is an eighth inch. We got 1300 feet of that. So we might be able to run two strands um, really, we, we're just gonna have to start hooking it up and see. I've never experimented with an electrical fence, so this is gonna be a new one for me and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Down here, we do have the chicken starter food. So we've got their starter kit here, which you do this for the first eight weeks of their life. You do this eight to 16 weeks, and then you move them over to a scratch layer food. 
and then you can move them up to a uh, full adult chicken foods after about 16 weeks. So we do have this right here, which is the bedding that's gonna be going inside of their bins. So we've got the heat on inside. Let's go ahead and get the chicks home set up and then... side so it doesn't dry their water out we'll put their food on this side so it's warmed up and then that way they can nest over here and stay warm if they need to so let's go ahead and get the other light set up we'll get them both posted up we'll put the food and water in and then we'll bring the chicks into their new home just slightly up to it you don't want to make it so that they can kick it up in there as it will absorb the water because that's kind of what its job is to do as for the chicken waste go ahead and put our feeder that we've already filled up we went ahead and put about four cups in there that should last them at least a day or two and we're gonna be here checking on them so if not not a big deal go ahead and push that back Alrighty, so here's the new family members. Right here we do have some wet wipes to clean them up. Let's go ahead and get these babies open. And, uh, look, they're so cute. So cute, they sure do smell just like a bunch of baby chicks though. <laughs> These suckers are stinking cute. Put them into their new homes. Oh my goodness. So innocent, so pure. So we did go ahead and get the new Roddy Ranch chickens in their new home. Um, thank you guys for clicking on another video brought to you by the Roddy channel. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, comment down below and let us know what you guys think of this video. Um, and let us know if you guys want to see updates on the chickens. They are about a week to two weeks old max. So we're just going to be raising some baby chickies here on the Roddy channel. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it today and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Alrighty guys, it wouldn't be a Roddy video if we didn't invite you guys to have dinner with our three bees. So we're gonna go ahead and get their bags emptied. We did let these thaw out all day while we were gone.
All right, we're gonna go ahead and let the dogs tear this food up as they are getting hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. We'll have them wait outside. They're hungry. All right, all right. I'm, I'm go cut. All right, come in for a second. They know, they're like, he's gonna make us wait anyway. They know we're gonna make them wait. Huh, Kenai? Huh, we gotta be training every single day. Mama, Kita, Kita. They know no. that there's chicks in there. Oh, that's why they're freaking they out, huh? There's chicks in there, they're super yeah. excited. All right, come on, out of the kitchen, stay. Stay. Actually, let's sit. Let's sit first. Kenai? Stay. Thank you. 